Hello and welcome to my next video about the Dell Latitude 3330 and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing Chrome OS Flex which is a new operating system from Google and the idea behind it is that it is perfect for older laptops and therefore it means we can keep older um, laptops and also desktop PCs running for longer and so we don't keep having to spend money on new equipment and we don't keep having to spend um, and we don't keep having to chuck old equipment out. So let's see how well it installs on this Latitude 3330. So what I'm going to do is I've got, you can just see there, Bottom left of the screen where I'm pointing is that's the USB pen with the um, Chrome operating system on. So I'm just going to turn the Dell on. And then straight away I'm going to go into the boot menu by pressing F12. And there we go. I'm going to hit the down arrow key once to go to the USB storage device which is where the operating system is, and off we go. So remember yesterday when I shot a video installing Windows 10, the actual installation took, I think, almost bang on 40 minutes. So let's see how this one does. So here we go, just over two minutes in, we're getting a... Now yesterday when I installed Windows 10, um, the great thing about that installation was that their voice assistant for um, people with visual impairments, Cortana, was part of the setup. And so Google with with Chrome Flex have got their screen reader, their their voice assistant, Chromevox. So if you need it, if you're visually impaired, and and you need um, voice guidance part of this setup, then this is perfect. But for today's video, I'm going to say no. I don't want it to set up. Okay, so let's. I'm going to press the Get Started key and I'm going to install, have it as an installation as opposed to trying it. Okay, it's just checking with me. Now, I don't know if you can see, but in the bottom right hand side of the video, it's got the location of the settings as being US. And obviously, I'm in the UK, so I want to change it to the UK settings. But the best time to do that, don't worry yourself about trying to do it now. It's actually after everything's set up and you've logged into 
the laptop for the first time, at that point, you can change it to the UK, if that's what you so desire. So at this point we are about six minutes into the installation. Now, if this is the first time that you are setting up um, Chrome Flex onto a laptop and you're a bit concerned about whether or not it's making any progress because that spinning, spinning blue circle just keeps going round and round, another way of checking that anything is happening is looking on the very front of your laptop and I'll just angle the camera down here and you can see these lights. And this second light in is almost a barrel shape, the white light. And that's always a good sign when that's flashing because that shows that there's something that the hard drive is working, which normally suggests that it's doing something. So in our case, I would take that as a good indication that the installation is going fine.
Okay, so there we go. Just over 10 minutes in and the installation it's telling us is complete. So what I'm going to do is it's telling us that it's going to shut down in about 30 odd seconds and that before we restart it we should remove the USB. So I'm going to take that out now. There you go. And then I'm just going to click on the um, shutdown button. And this seems to be quite interesting. It's almost like the laptop hangs a bit, the screen's gone off, but it hasn't shut down fully yet. We're waiting for that light to go out. Okay, I'm just going to press the button and see if that does. Okay, I'm going to do a long press. And then I'm going to restart it. So let's see. Okay, invalid partition table. It seems to be loaded. Okay, so here we go. This is the next part of the setup. Right, so first of all, I'm going to connect it to my network. So I'm just going to. Okay, so I've disconnected it to my Wi Fi. And here we're going to accept the terms of use. And then I'm going to set it up as myself. Okay, and then I'm just going to, obviously, maybe I should have said this at the beginning, but you will need a Google account in order to, um, to complete the installation of RS Flex.
okay, this is all about syncing this device with my other Chrome devices. Um, I've got a couple of Chrome laptops and I've got an Android phone as well. So just make sure that everything's in sync. And then this is all about the data collection from the um, that Google will take from the laptop. Um, you can either allow Google to take take information about the laptop. This is nothing personal in the um, data that they're collecting. So I'm just going to leave that and just click on accept and continue. The next thing is Google, um, their assistant, their voice assistant. Um, and I'm saying I agree to um, use it on this. Okay, so there we go. A touch just of just under 17 minutes and Chrome OS Flex is um, is installed. And let me just go down here. This is, as I said, this is set for the US at the moment. I want it to be set to the UK. So what I'm going to do is I've got bottom right here, I've got keyboard is US and I'm just going to click on the UK and that changes. And that uh, changes everything and um, make sure that it's all UK specific the way the keyboard's laid out. And by the way, I've just dropped my phone off its stand and that was what the Big Bang was all about. But thank you for watching this video and I hope it's really helped you if you've got uh, Dell Latitude 3330 and you're considering installing Chrome OS Flex on it.